recession, inflation, economic instability. If things feel uncertain right now, you're not alone. Wanting to better understand the reality of entrepreneurship in the US today, we decided to survey small business owners to learn directly from those at the front line of the business battlefield. Here's the small business forecast for 2023. We wanted to know how business owners today are feeling. So we started by asking a simple question. Has business improved since last year? An overwhelming 65% majority say their business performance has improved since 2022. While 15% do say their business has gotten worse, that's the minority. Overall, these numbers show incredible promise for small businesses right now. 52% say they anticipate seeing a rise in new businesses in their community over the next year. So I moved down to Miami about two years ago, but around where I live, you know, about 10 to 15 buildings, apartment buildings are being built and new commerce, you know, is around every corner with the injection of, of money and working people and, and families relocating. Miami's also been touted as, as the new tech hub in the United States. So I don't expect it to slow down anytime soon with entrepreneurs and, and businesses flocking here for the more relaxed environment and tax-friendly atmosphere. We can understand the 15% who lean a little more pessimistic as the state of our economy raises valid concerns. Despite this, 49% of business owners see the economy as good for small businesses. Only 12% of our survey participants reported a plan to scale back their current full-time staff. 28% said they'll keep it the same, and an impressive 59% communicated an aim to increase the number of full-time employees. This is great news for job seekers and the economy, which leads us to wonder about the type of businesses that are increasing. It was revealed that millennial-owned businesses are growing most rapidly at 45%. Women-owned businesses are also on the rise at 39%. There's also lots of movement for Black-owned and minority-owned businesses as well, with 29% and 24% growth, respectively. This could bode well for employees seeking a more progressive work environment. Sure, the economy can be unpredictable and entrepreneurship can be challenging, but thankfully, those in the field are reporting back with overwhelming positivity. We hope you enjoyed today's insights. We'd like to know what you think about these results. Let us know in the comments. And if you would like to read further into this survey, please visit the link in the description below.